what's up team so today i want to talk to you guys about something very important i want to talk to you guys about relationship killers oh my god a lot of you guys are excited and like god i can't wait you know to get married i can't wait to be with someone you know i'm tired of being lonely stressed out but we're going to talk today about relationship killers yes things that are sent from the enemy are things in life that can destroy our relationship and cause distance between us and our spouses or just you know end up in a breakup between the person you are in courtship with so i'm going to be real i'm going to be transparent to bless someone that's listening to me today so let's talk about finances relationship killer number one now I know people say the cliche money don't buy you love but when you're in a relationship particularly marriage if those finances are not in order it can be stressful so that's something that you would want to consider before you hop into a marriage or hop into a relationship are my finances in order and am i willing to stick with this person for richer or for poor for better or for worse through sickness and in health you know or am i going to leave them when it, if they lose their job or you know is am i going to freak out and be stressed out because you know i'm not bringing my um you know stepping up and you know delivering my end of the bargain or you know just anything finances are stressful so you know thanks be unto god that amen that he has promises in the word about finances that wealth and riches will be in your house so just think about that maybe save a little bit before you get into a relationship or you know consider you know you can be broken happy and, and in love you know it's possible so a lot of people break up because of finances you know lack of finances all right the second relationship killer is trust lack of trust a lot of people you know you don't trust the person you're with why you don't trust the person you're with because uh maybe something happened to you before in the past and you're bringing this baggage into your new relationship and you told yourself you made some kind of vow i will never allow someone to hurt me i'm not going to you know give them all of my heart maybe half of my heart you know because of something that happened in the past love is a risk taker amen you're taking a risk when you stepping out and taking a shot at love you're taking a risk amen so give the person a hundred percent fairness a hundred percent commitment not fifty percent not eighty five percent even ninety five percent is not enough all right so a lot of people their relationship is killed because lack of trust you know who wants to be in a relationship where there's no uh trust I don't want to be looking at my husband's phone and worrying about who you're talking to and checking up behind him. That's stressful. I don't want that. I didn't have it when I was single and I don't want to have the extra burden on me as a married woman. All right. So a lot of relationships are destroyed by lack of trust, you know. All right. The next relationship killer is lack of goals. All right. You, 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 you. You know, you don't have any goals set, a goals in a relationship. Hey Amen. You're not opening up, talking to, you know, your, your significant other or your person that you're with about goals in life. So therefore, you initially when you get in a relationship, it's all exciting, spicy, and then when you go through the motions, it just, mm, you know, it just dies down. All that excitement dies down. You know, if you have some goals set, you know, maybe y'all can work together accomplish things together grow together do things together amen maybe the person will feel closer to you so the next relationship killer is miscommunication or lack of communication all right don't ever make the mistake of giving your time with your spouse significant other the person you're in a relationship with to someone else amen don't ever and i'm talking you know uh in general for example men you know talk to your wives don't bring another picture a woman in it and talk to her women talk to your husbands don't bring another man in it telling him you know your business that should stay in you know marriage between you and your husband all right so the next relationship killer is you know disrespect disrespect you know for example men love respect they love 
uh, you know, their woman to respect them. The word of God tells us to respect your own husband, right? Respect your husband. All right. They don't want their wives going out like a floozy, showing their, showing all their goods to the world. They don't want a naggy wife, a nagging wife. All right. The same thing goes with men. You know, just because you have a wife and the word tells you to submit does not mean that she does not have a brain. All right. So don't take the word submission, you know, as control, you know, with the iron fist. All right. So women need to be respected, too. You just can't run up out the house any time of the day and she have no idea where you're at. And this crazy stuff like that. Nobody has time for that. Right. These are relationship killers. So. So the last relationship killer I'm going to give you guys is past relationships. Don't you ever, 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 ever bring your ex, you know, into your new relationship. Why? Because that's somebody you've probably been intimate with before. I'm just being real transparent. Uh, you know, you probably still got feelings for them or you care about them. And you bring that person into your relationship, your new relationship, and you make your your, your spouse or you make your um, person that you're with feel some kind of way. Like, this is messed up. You know, what do you mean? You know, you shouldn't be on the phone, you know, long, uh, for a long conversation with your ex. Shouldn't be going out to lunch with your ex. You shouldn't be, uh, you know, chatting uh, more than normal, usual with your ex. You know, sometimes you got to have communication with your ex if you have children or something like that with them but just keep it short all right you know if how how, how would you think your, your spouse would feel or you know the person you're dating with if they are sitting beside you and you're all giggly <laughs> and all happy and smiling you know when you're on the phone with your ex but you're not doing that with them they're going to feel some kind of way you know like hold up something ain't right here you know so don't you ever bring your ex into your new relationship all right, you guys, so just think about that, you know, finances, lack of trust, miscommunication, no communication, lack of goals, you know, uh, bringing your ex into your relationship can kill your relationship. You know, your relationship will be over before it even gets started. All right. So I speak longevity over you. I speak success. I speak prosperity. I speak God's ordained marriage in your life. I bind up any attacks of the enemies. I bind up any foolishness in Jesus' name. I pray for wisdom to be loosed upon you. Amen. Knowledge. All right. So I pray that you apply these things to your uh, relationship. I don't care how long you've been married. You could have been married 36 years. My parents have been married about 36 years, you know. And you, you still got to apply these things. Amen. So you got to make a decision. All right. I made a covenant before God. You know, it's not about me. Um, I, I, I'm, it, you know, if you're single, like I'm, I'm in a courtship, you know, I'm not dating nobody, wasting time. The person that I'm, you know, uh, going to date is going to lead to the altar. If not, I'm not going to waste my time, but even when God gets me that man of God or that woman of God, I'm not going to play games. You know, I'm going to do my part. You know, I may be broke right now. And I'm just speaking for somebody, you know, but I'm going to put forth my effort. I'm going to, you know, make that man, make that woman uh, feel like they're the best thing since sliced bread and some lemonade and some popcorn. Amen. So, you know, don't allow uh, what God gave you, you know, to for the enemy to, to snatch it away amen don't take god's blessing for granted amen don't take it for granted all right so team i love you do this